Hello everyone, this is Ashish Pratap Singh. Welcome back to our channel, Code Kitty. So in this video, we are going to understand use field array. Okay. So in our previous video, we have gone through React hook forms where we created a dynamic form where we passed array of object and that was creating a form for us. Okay. So in this video, we are going to understand how we can utilize use field array. Okay. So first of all, you have to install uh, this React hook forms. Okay. So we have already did this. So let's skip this and come to uh, use field array again. Okay. Now if I show you this design here, I'm having this table. If I click on add row, then it is creating table uh, rows for me. Okay. And if I'll submit, then this validation will be there. And if I'll delete, then it will delete. Obviously. Okay. Now if I'll show you this code, then here you can see I'm having these row using use state. Okay. And uh, uh, here I'm having this handle input change. So I'm just changing that particular row uh, up to that particular name field. Okay, like this. Now uh, just adding those rows inside these set rows, and uh, it will re-render. Now uh, for adding a new row, I'm just adding one object. Okay, and persisting the errors of that particular row inside the same object, like this. And if I delete, then it will filter out by removing that particular okay if i want to validate then this logic has been written okay now if i'll hand click on handle submit then that and validate row will call and this particular method will run and set the error for the particular row okay and here i'm having this table component and uh, these uh, component will contain input okay and contain on change value and the names okay it's simple now uh you can see I, i'm writing so many of the things like this but if i want to want to do this so what i have to do so let's come up here so here you can see i'm having these two things use form and use field array okay use form will contain this control and register and this use field array will contain these fields append and the various methods so let's copy this so here i'll just add it like this and import use form okay and you field array now i'm having users so i'll say users okay now uh, what I have to do with this register so if you are using a uh, native element of uh, HTML like you can see I'm having this input like this so what I have to do I have to pass this line this registered line here okay and this will be the name so I'm having this user and if I'll say the users okay and the index and the value it is the first name this okay the so first name and now if i do this then what will happen we don't need this name that value and the on chain so you can see a lot of the logic uh, already has been removed so now we'll do the again same thing here so i don't name then value and on change and this will be last name okay again and same for the email email and value is not required this one so inside this register these all the things are already there so that's why i'm spreading all the things like this okay and there will be a few more things called on blur okay so now what I need to do, uh, you can see uh, handle input change is not uh, useful because we have removed this, so we can uh, comment it out. Now if I want, I want to append the field, so you can see I'm having this logic here. So we don't need this now, just comment this and add append like this. Okay, and we need this. Okay, for the default values. Now all the uh, things which we were using using grows, we can remove them. So we can remove this, we can remove logic, then validate grows. 
not do longer okay so as we will remove this thing and rows now now we have to use fields okay so here you can see i'm having this fields so we are just going to use them now errors okay let's comment it out for now one and this one so we'll see how we can show errors so right now uh everything is done my side now come back here if i click on add row then you can see i'm having this uh row okay if i'll click on add row again then again okay and if i'll click on delete then it will not remove because we haven't added the logic so here you can see i'm having this remove so what i have to do uh where okay this one this delete row remove and pass the index like this okay and delete it will also work so lot of the logic we were uh, writing so that's not needed now uh, so again what left okay now here you can see i'm ha i'm using this table component okay and on submission i want to add uh, this okay we have to add this button here and what we can do here we state flags then flag justify between like this now it's good okay now what i have to do so you can see i'm having this component here so i'll say this as a form not the div okay why i'll show you here so if i want to add form submission not using the on click so what i have to do i have to pass this as a type or submit okay so here i'm having this form and here you can see i'm having this on submit method okay inside this on submit method what i have to pass i have to pass a handle submit from here that the use form you'll get this handle submit okay like this so just pass this and whatever the logical part so i'll say this uh, handle submit data okay inside this like this simple now once i'll submit all the values will be here so what it will do uh, if there is a validation then only this method will be called we don't need to write this validate rows uh, like this okay so it will handle on its own let's say this any now okay now come here and open the console and add a row okay well add a row one more row well say submit then it will showing me all the values okay so let's add some value cool well say submit again addition and submit again then there is a well updated values okay now i want to add validation then how will i do this so it's simple so using so let's discuss prepend first then we'll discuss uh, that thing so we can remove thing so these are the other method but i'll show you only the prepend so let's say once I click on this add row, then uh, the new row should be added at the top. Okay, so what I have to do, you can replace this like this, and if I'll add, then you can see, let's add value sum. If I click here, then you can see new row has been added at the top. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, what I have to do, uh, I want to add validation, validation, then there is yep library. Okay, so as yep write it like this from yep okay then we don't need this anymore now we have to write the schema okay and how will i write this so yep dot object okay and that object contains this users so and these users 
contain array of object okay and that will contain yup dot object close this and then that will contain first name then last name and the email okay and i want to add some message so what i'll say this first name is required then i want to say last name is required then i want to say email is required okay then if there is invalid email then it should show valid email now this schema should be passed inside this use form not use field array okay so how here you have to pass uh, this resolver like this and inside this resolver yep resolver okay so if i'll show you here then both the things are imported yep resolver okay and this schema is here and we have to pass this schema on this okay so if you want to uh, see more things uh, around use form then you can check out my previous video okay so now uh, we can remove this because not needed now i'll come here back then uh, there is few more things form state inside this form state you get all the error okay so if i click on add row so if i hit submit then the form is not going to submit obviously because as i said so right now we don't need to write anything explicitly for validating so form will control or the react hook form will control all the things so if i'll submit again then it is uh like you can see i can i cannot see the values okay so if i'll open this form state and inside this there is errors okay so right now that is uh empty okay so what i have to do i'll add here mode on change okay i'll click here add row again then you will see this form straight again now if i'll open this error section then you can see there is an object which contains values okay like this so let's refresh this again there shouldn't be any undefined let's log in again okay so now add row and hit submit and if i click add row again then there will be a re-render and insert this and hit submit again then there is errors that this error object you can see i'm having this users and inside this users i'm having this first name and first name is required okay so you are getting error like this so how will i show this so it's simple so we have already this logic here you can see so we can remove this first name okay now form state will contain users sorry errors then inside this we are having users and users will contain row that's why i'll say index or it will contain first name okay and this will contain message if that exists then only show this error like this yeah. so it's showing me okay now we can copy this thing and add it here but it this time this will be last and same for email this time this should now if i submit again then you can see i'm getting these errors now what i want once i'll uh, interact with, with the these fields then only show the error okay so for that what we have uh, we are having this that this form state okay we are having field touch something like that, okay so console touched field okay submit this and submit again so 
I'll open this then you can see the first name is on the on the field which we have uh, yet touched okay so users and we'll write the same logic here so what I have to do I have to say and form state and touched fields okay and from where users and it contains index okay then if there is first name okay then i'll show so we have touched it that's why it is showing so we'll copy the thing and paste it everywhere but right now this time this should be last name okay and for the email also we'll do this now refresh it okay and if i'll add, click on add row then i'm getting this if i click again and if i'll submit then i'm getting this errors here why because i haven't touched uh, other fields okay like this and we can also write one more logic if i'm going to submit only then show error everywhere uh, it doesn't ma matter that you are touching the field or not okay so that's how uh, this thing work and uh, anything else if you want to achieve using this react hook form so there are many things if you want to add uh, some different modes then you can also add them here okay so yeah that's how the thing works if you really like the video then please hit like and subscribe to our channel thank you